Lucius, we can't risk another incursion. Lock the building down and transfer remote production to Alfred. Consider it done, Mr. Wayne. Good luck with the uh, gardening. Master Bruce, I'm afraid those drones were just the beginning. I've detected a significant redeployment of vehicles from Founders Island into the north and south of the city. It seems the Arkham Knight is tightening his grip. I'm ready for them, Alfred. Very good, sir. Ivy, I've found a way to track the root systems beneath Gotham. Follow the roots. They'll take you where you need to go. He's just wasting a twin rat. Yes, she's calling louder. Batman's taking out a rattler. Throw him down. I can make her grow, Batman, but you need to wake her up. Nature always wins. Come on, man, get 
Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. The look on your face when you saw him. <laughs> Who would have thought the big bad Batman scared of his own reflection? That you need to find a scarecrow and get yourself gas sticker. It's high time I stretched your legs. Right, let's see. Yeah, they have been 
music being played on the boundary of Chinatown. There was similar music being aired at the previous crime scene. It would appear this is some kind of calling card. Stop this killer. I should analyze. Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. Twenty years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. A small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. What is that? Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Ocargo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. A militia fortification has been established in the north of Miyagani Island. They think they're safe. They're wrong. 